everyone, and welcome back to the Good Five Cent Cigar Newscast. My name is Adam Zangieri. Thank you so much for joining us. Coming up, International Education Week begins with some West African flair. A check-in with some of President Parlange's pets around campus. A Thanksgiving edition of the Ronin Report. And, as always, stay tuned for your Rody Sports Corner. The beginning of International Education Week on campus was marked with the sounds of drums filling the Memorial Union. It was followed by discussions about climate change, URI's international partnerships, and cultural education. I went to the event to see how the week began. The idea is to create a week where we celebrate global initiatives, global communities and engagement throughout local communities, universities, and the country. A week of celebrating the international community and connections at URI began on Monday with the sounds of percussion and dancing. Upbeat West African style music underscored an event where speakers talked about work that URI has done with groups on four different continents. Abubakar Kamara, who was originally from Senegal, has been performing West African music on the drums in Rhode Island since he came here from Oklahoma recently. That's a university people you used to work for. My wife has been working over there for 25 years. I've been working there for 12 years. And then she got an offer here in the Rhode Island, you are right, mm -hmm. as a chair of the African Studies Department. So they offered me a job too. So I'm over here, I'm working in the music department. Uh, Tuesday, I teach a class over there. The celebration of culture also wasn't limited to West Africa as some of URI's Papuan students also performed a traditional dance during the event. Speakers, including Hollis Emery, mentioned work that they had done with the university in France, South Korea, and Sierra Leone to help build international connections with communities in southern Rhode Island. URI is also planning to work with the Indian Institute of Technology, located in Kanpur, India, on topics including climate change, according to Professor Arjit Boss. The music and dancing aim to underscore the cultural importance of International Education Week, but according to Kamara, there is no separating musical education and cultural education. They both uh, to me, because I don't have no different form, because people make a different, but to me, as a musician, I, I love all culture, I love all music, because everything is learning process. As the event concluded, Kamara offered attendees the opportunity to learn how to play the drums, West African style. I'm Adam Zangieri, Five Cent Cigar News. If you've been walking near President Parlange's house on your way to class, you may have noticed some chickens taking a stroll as well. Those birds aren't there by circumstance. They're cared for by Mark and Mary Parlange themselves. Aaron Brown has more. Have you seen the new craze on campus, the URI chickens? Meet Mary Parlange, the mastermind behind the unofficial university yes. mascots. I've always wanted to have chickens, so I've always been never been in a place where we could have chickens. And so the first day we were on campus, actually Mark's first day of work, August 1st, 2021, we had a meet and greet with the faculty and staff. And um, John Kirby, who's the Dean of the College of Environmental Life Sciences, was in the lineup. And he said he was the Dean. And I said, you know, I really want to have chickens. He said, well, go for it. I've been thinking about the Instagram for a while, especially since it kind of took me by surprise how much people like the chickens, because first I thought, well, I'd free range them, and my thought was, oh, the chickens will stay out by the coop. They'll stay right out there by that little garden, and they're not gonna go very far. I had no idea they were gonna, like, go over to Swan Hall and Ranger Hall, so I keep getting these calls from people, your chickens are over by Swan, or your chickens are over by Ranger. It's like, well, so for a while I would go after them and try to herd them back, thinking that it was a bad thing, but then I gave up. And people were telling me stories about how much they liked the chickens. And one girl I got was out there by the coop, just sitting by the coop, singing to the chickens one day. And people were taking selfies with the chickens. And I thought, this is a thing. So why not have some fun with it? Erin Brown, Five Cent Cigar News. 
We are officially only one week away from Thanksgiving, and members of the URI community are thankful for more than just the two days off. Ronan Himmelrich found out exactly what the URI community was thankful for in this special edition of the Ronan Report. Thanksgiving is a beloved holiday here in America. Let's find out what members of the URI community are thankful for this year. Um, honestly, my family, I'm thankful that they're all healthy and well and all together. We're going to be all together in one spot, so that would be really nice. I'm very thankful for that. Honestly, I think the one thing that comes to mind is, uh, first of all, this is a great academic year. It's my junior year of uh, engineering. I love it. So hard. I'm really thankful for my study group. These are all my studies groups. So they're, they're, they're like the best, best study group I've ever had in my life. I wouldn't be able to do anything without them. So I'm very thankful for that, and um, I mean that is what I'm thankful for right now at least. My friends at URI. I'm thankful for my friends because they are awesome. Oh, that's a really, that's a good question. Honestly, I f love my family, but I'm really thankful for my friends this year. Um, all my friends, I'm going home with one of my friends for Thanksgiving, so I'm really great to have her in my life. So, yeah. I've been begging for a family pet for the last 20 years of my life, and my parents finally got a cat, so I'm excited to meet it. Very nice. I'm very thankful for that cat. I what's, the, what, what's the cat's name? My mom named him Agustin. Bueno. Muy bueno. <laughs> Augie, if you will. Very Augie, cute. if you will. Very yeah. cute, very cute. You like very. to see a picture? I would love to. My mom loves to send me pictures of him. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I love cats. I also love cats. I'm quite excited about him. Oh, wait. This is Agustin. <gasps> Show the camera. Yeah. He's so handsome. Right? He has a little little beauty mark on him. Yeah. He's quite cute. Hey, I really want to come kick it with you. You be my American boy, American boy. Ooh. Uh, currently, right now, the Office of Student Involvement's monthly Beats and Eats promo, uh, but also family because I am 1,300 miles away from home. I'm from the state of Iowa, uh, if you didn't know that already. <laughs> so thankful for family, yeah. I get to see my dog soon. Mm. I'm most thankful for the people in this room, actually. Oh, that's yeah, I love them. <laughs> Very nice. Yeah, these people. We love Student Senate. <laughs> It's a great question. Um, honestly, I'm just thankful to wake up every day healthy, blessed, and uh, be able to, you know, more chances to make my uh, my family proud. You know, so yeah. Very nice. I'm thankful for my friends uh, at this table. Uh, this lovely university gave me an opportunity to be successful. Uh, yeah, no, I'm thankful for my friends here, definitely, and um, that the Pats play football on Thanksgiving this year. Yeah. Very nice. Thankful for my friends and family. I love them so much. <laughs> As you can see, people are thankful for a lot of different things. Happy Thanksgiving. New at URI this week. The Gender and Sexuality Center will be holding an event with their keynote speaker for Trans Awareness Week, Kyle Parker, today at 6. International Education Week will be ending with a webinar including an interview with Secretary of State Antony Blinken on Friday at 2 p.m. And on Sunday, the SEC is hosting actress, comedian, and author Jenny Slate in Edwards Auditorium at 7.30 p.m. And now over to Cam I. Simone with your Roadie Sports Corner. Thanks, Adam. Hello, Roadie Nation. I'm Cam I. Simone, and welcome back to another edition of your Roadie Sports Corner. It was a busy weekend in URI athletics. Men's and women's cross country headed to Bronx, New York for the NCAA Regional Championship. The men would place 20th of 33, while the women placed 29th of 37. College Hoops is back as the Rhodey women's basketball team look to return to their winning ways after a tough start to their season last week to Harvard. Returning to Kingston for their next two games, the Rams open up their home campaign with a win over Dartmouth. Siani Lassiter led the charge with 16 points. The winning streak would continue as the team would face their in-state rival Providence in the Ryan Center. The Rams rallied from a 10-point deficit going into the half and continued to go back and forth with the Friars. 
Maya Torre sealed the deal with the game-winning layup with 53 seconds left on the game clock, and the Rams would hold on to earn a 74-72 victory and advance the 2-1 to start the year. Taking a look now at the roadie football team as they suffered a last-minute loss on the road in their previous matchup against New Hampshire. The Rams would hold the lead going into the half 14-10 as Katero Summers and Marcus DeShields were able to find themselves in the end zone. Unfortunately, New Hampshire got the last laugh. The Wildcats would march down the field on a 10-play, 89-yard drive, while DJ Lincolns would find the end zone for the winning points, allowing the Wildcats to win a 31-28 outing. The Rams now head back home to Meade Stadium for their senior night and last regular season matchup of the season against UAlbany this Saturday. And concluding this week in Rhodey Sports, the men's basketball team captured their first win of the Archie Miller era, 74-64 over Stony Brook, and they were led by sophomore guard Sebastian Thomas. Thomas recorded 13 points on the night with 10 assists and just one assist shy of the Ryan Center record for most assists in a single game held by Dustin Helenga. Four Rams would score in a double figures as well with Ishmael Leggett leading the way with 18 points and just shy of another Rams double-double with nine rebounds. This win marks Archie Miller's first win as the Rams head coach in his 100th win versus a different opponent. That's it for this week's Roadie Sports Corner. Back to you, Adam. That's all we have for you this week at the Five Cent Cigar Newscast. As always, make sure to check us out at RoadieCigar.com and follow us on Twitter at RoadieCigar. From Kingston, Rhode Island, I'm Adam Zangieri. Have a great week, Roadie.